Good to see you again. Thank you. You continue to grow. You're now Egypt's largest hotel operator. That's true. And uh, probably travel and tourism operator. You've recently added two properties, which you're going to tell us about, I hope. But let's go by region uh, within Egypt. And if you could tell us what kind of properties you have and what really stands out uniquely. Well, uh, we have uh, to talk about the Mars Island area, which is our, uh, which is the Southern Red Sea. If you look at the, the map here below, Mars Arab is uh, down here. Mm -hmm. And it's about 220 kilometers south of Orgada. Uh, as you can see, this is the Red Sea. And uh, Orgada, which is uh, one of the top destinations, is uh, where the airport is. Mars Island also has an airport, and our development is here. And uh, we strongly believe in this new destination because it's peaceful, quiet. The reefs are in very good condition for mm -hmm. diving, snorkeling. And uh, we managed to add uh, two uh, new hotels, which are opening uh, this year in May. And uh, we have uh, we've concentrated on an area which we dominate. We have uh, 11 hotels in that area. So these two hotels will make our... We had nine, and these two new ones will make it uh, 11 out of uh, 11 hotels. Uh, the uniqueness of this area is that it's uh, six kilometers from the international airport and uh, nearly the same to the Port Gallip, Port Gallip Port is uh, where many yachts are uh, parked and uh, many of the diving safaris begin. The, uh, the hotels are built on a, on a nice secluded bay and uh, it's like a, it has its own private uh, reef and it's away from everything so it's very peaceful and the water quality is uh, amazing. It's of course very, very safe. And uh, I, I suppose with 11 properties, you cater to all sorts of markets, meaning mid-market, up-market. Yes, we have, uh, we have all markets. We have uh, upper, upper market, we have uh, up market, and we have, uh, let's say, upper middle uh, class market. And we have, uh, we're attracting customers, uh, mostly from Europe coming from Germany, from Switzerland, from Austria, Belgium, Poland, Poland, Czech Republic, uh, Ukraine. So they come from uh, nearly all the European countries. And Mas Aran is gaining much more and more popularity due to its uniqueness. It's not a, not a crowded destination like others are. Uh, let's go to another region where you have a cluster of properties. Uh, the other cluster of properties is uh, Madinat Makadi and the Soma Bay. In this in this part, we have uh, two two developments: Madinat Makadi, which is about 35 kilometers south of uh, Orgada Airport, and about uh, 40 kilometers from Orgada Town. Mm. And Abu Soma, uh, Abu Soma Bay, is the bay uh, where we have a large plot of land, and we are intending to build uh, four hotels. Already, already half way to completion of the first one. Hopefully it will uh, be ready end of this year. And we're building uh, a large international marina. And uh, we want to, to have this as a, a new center for us. We're going to have, uh, like I said, four hotels, residential, uh, residential town with a village of, uh, where we have uh, houses for all, uh, for all sizes and all budgets. And uh, again, this, this area is uh, unique because the, the beaches are very sandy and uh, the access to reefs. A lot of people like to dive and uh, kite surf. There's a, there are many kite surfing centers in this bay and we are going to have uh, an, an advanced uh, kite surf. I'll, I'll show it to you. So it's a, it's a natural bay. There are other hotels uh, that already exist, but we, let's say we have the, we have the the, the, the latest technology, the la latest uh, specifications of it has large rooms, a lot of uh, restaurants, and uh, a lot of facilities. Are we uh, which so other? We covered this mm -hmm. one and this one, and uh, where we uh, where we also have uh, hotels is in the, in the northern part of uh, Egypt, which is uh, Marsa Alam. Um, Alexandria is the most famous city in the north coast. 
and uh, Masra Matruh is another important city. We are uh, about half an hour's drive from Masra Matruh, where we have Al Maza Bay. Al Maza Bay is a is a unique bay with uh, crystal clear waters and really white sands. And uh, we have five operating hotels, and uh, we have developed the town. It's called the Al Maza Bay Town. And there we have built uh, homes uh, for Egyptians and uh, for uh, foreigners that like to, to enjoy the Egyptian uh, North Coast. We have, uh, we, we have we have built about 1,200 homes, and we are delivering them. Uh, uh, we, we complete deliveries in three years. So uh, it's not just a hotel complex. It's not just a hotel complex. It's a community. The community. Uh, the entire community. community. Yes. A big community. It's a big part of our uh, development. Then we have we're building another place, and this is here in uh, Ain Sofna, where you see this uh, jazz sign. Mm -hmm. There we are building uh, a nice boutique hotel, which is close to the Suez Canal, and uh, it has mag a magnificent views. It's, uh, it's built on a, on, a, on a mountain, and so all the rooms are uh, sea view and. Uh, Amazing views and uh, access to beach. People can uh, also swim or snorkel or uh, or just uh, sit back and enjoy the amazing sunsets and sunrises. This really amazing location. Uh, yeah. Please. Yeah. So I think uh, that covers. We are, we, are, we are in the process of building seven seven hotels and uh, renovating uh, another two or three because uh, we feel that with the business coming back our hotels have to be up to, up to standard and uh, we managed to renovate most of them we just have uh, three or four that are under renovation now and hopefully by october everything will be renovated and ready for uh, operation now cruises we're one of the major are, operators the what's, what's the latest uh, situation with Nile cruises. Are last, they all back? Uh, yeah, la last year, uh, I don't know, uh, I, I, we had the vision of uh, anticipating that the Nile cruise business sort of would come back. And so we started renovating all our Nile cruise ships. And it was a surprise because when the market understood what we were doing, they said, he, he must know referring to me, he must know something that we don't know. If he's renovating his 17 ships, he must know something that we don't know. And so they saw us renovate our ships and they started to renovate uh, their own ships. So as come the beginning of this, uh, this uh, winter season, last November, we saw an incredible demand. Our, all our ships were operating full. Not only all our ships, another 135 ships. Wow. The market came back, everybody, you know, it's like a, a demand that has been not available. Not everybody was afraid to come in the past. Now people, people think that it's time to come back. And uh, luckily, we were ready for it. I noticed on your website that you also have Travco uh, Adventure Holidays. Yeah. How, how is that doing? Adventure Holidays is... Uh, the division of our company that concentrates or deals with uh, uh, desert safaris. So people that want to explore the desert, have no access to the desert before, uh, we'll take a safari, we'll, uh, we'll stay on, uh, in, the, in, the, in the middle of the desert at night where we have uh, camps built specially for, the, for every gym. We don't have fixed camps, but every time they go stop somewhere, they, pre they prepare the campsite and it's a unique experience going through the Egyptian desert. We have quite a big success because uh, there are a lot of beautiful deserts and a lot of beautiful views to, to watch. And, uh, and uh, it's successful, but uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a small, limited, exclusive business. Very unique experience. Thank you so much. Thank Good you. To see Thank you. you.